YouTube and all inhabitant. This is NBE A17 here with another video coming at you. And today, as you see, I just shook that camera a lot. I'm pretty short, so and the microphone. I apologize, but anyway, um, today we are back inside my world. Uh, behind this beautiful, beautiful person that I decided to name Chris, because who doesn't like the name Chris? But anyway, today, what we're going to be doing is we are actually going to be doing another top five. So, not, uh, it's actually like a, a top five, like, I don't even know. It's like a top five secret entrance base things for your enjoyment good okay so uh if you guys do enjoy this video please do leave a like comment and subscribe so this is basically gonna, just going to show my top five ways to show off or let not not to show off because you obviously don't want to show off the secret entrance to your base, but to hide the uh, secret or a uh, secret base of some sort or like loot or like uh, secret stuff inside your Minecraft bases. So here is number one. All we actually need for number one is a bucket of water. So it's, it's actually very simple. So this one I call watering the plants and this is why. So we have like a throne room here, like a normal throne. I can sit on the throne if I want to. And there's just like this hall that's just black concrete, but like we don't really need a lot of decoration. So why is this called watering the plants? Well, uh, most of you guys probably know this because uh, it's, it's pretty common. It's a pretty good like disguise. But if we go over to this plant right here, then as you can see, the throne opens and we can just fall into here. We got a secret entrance. That's pretty much all there is to it. So, I mean, yeah, I don't. It's raining. It's raining. Poggle down, fall. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. And if you want to close it, you can just. I play way too much bucket server. Uh, you can just grab an empty bucket and uh, take it out. And there you go. It just closes up. What more would you want? Going on to number two. Uh, by the way, guys, I am going to show you how to make these uh, besides this one because it is extremely self-explanatory. But uh, so as you can see here. Uh, I am inside a little house here, just like a little standard house. We have some paintings and all of that. And this one is also very common, but some people don't know about it. So if we come over here and I have auto jump on, of course. No, I don't actually. It's okay. Um, we have like a storage. We have like a little kitchen area. We have a table, a couch kind of thing. And then we go over to the bed. So next to the bed, we have a shulker box. So most of you, again, do know about this, but if we just look straight down and stand on top of the shulker box, open up the shulker box, then we will actually fall straight inside of whatever you want to put down here. You can just put down like a bucket of water down there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to that one. Uh, and again, it is extremely simple to make. All you need is this hole, like right here. You can just make like a hole right there. And then you put a block right here, put a shulker box above it. Then you just go here and break the block that's underneath it. Uh, then replace it. And then that's that's all there is to it. You just open it, fall down. That simple. So, I don't know, what more, what, what do you want me to say? What, what more would you ever want? Next, we are inside of the Great Museum of Emeralds, because I like emeralds. Yeah, I like emeralds, but uh, anyway, um, in this one, uh, as you can see, we have a, uh, we have the, a place, it's 
it's a museum it's a museum of legendary artifacts so let me give you some insight on these things so this here is uh, the legendary totem of undying that um um, not actually, oh, yes, 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 I forgot, okay, so, this is the legendary totem of undying, not undying, undying, as in the fish, undying herself used the, is this very item to give herself determination to keep fighting against the human when they took the genocide route, that is, that is right, perfect, that, that's where undying the undying came, like, you guys should watch Undertale, it's really good. Alright, anyway, the next we have the legendary golden apple. That, um, NBE 412, no, not 817, 412 took, and he ate it, and he ran into battle, and he slaughtered their throats with the legendary powers that this apple gave to him. Yes. That is, that is an accurate representation. So, uh, yeah. Alright, next, we have the very same sword that the Hampsons used to slay the giant mutant turtle that, uh, was wreaking havoc on the land of, of Camelot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they sell camel meat there. You guys should go there. Anyway, next. Would you? What? Okay. Ah, whatever. <laughs> uh, next. This is probably the single most important item here. This item is the very same horse armor that Sir Oglar Porksworthy put on his legendary horse, known as the legendary hero, and he rode into battle, and he beat the final boss of Dark Souls. That is right. Mm -hmm. It was amazing, truly breathtaking. I was there every step of the way. All right, anyway, and finally, on top of all these jewels and gold and jewels and, and we have this sponge yeah uh, it's a wet sponge it's it's excellent it it does everything like like go go put it in oh wait i was about to go say put it in water but it's already wet this is awkward. Anyway, uh, okay, so you, you guys are like, hey, NB, NB, oh, NB, where is the secret entrance? Well, I can tell you, that's the wrong button. I can tell you where the secret entrance is. So, if we go over to Sir Oglar Porksworthy's armor, and we tilt the armor so that it is facing the moon, then, as you can see, a mystical sponge portal will move, and we can drop down in, and, uh, yeah, we spawn in a dark hole. Yeah, that's, that's great. Let me go to peaceful, because I could hear which... Why is it raining again? I literally just toggled downfall! Like, what are you doing with your life? Okay. So then, uh, let's just tilt the horse armor back, and Sponge just moves back into place. So, again, I will show you guys how you can build these in your own Minecraft worlds as soon as we are finished showcasing off everything. Okay, guys, so this next one is actually extremely simple. So, um, th we have, like, a little house here. We can just, you know, walk into it like a normal house, and then, like, we have a another room right here. But... This one is uh, one that's definitely known, uh, but if we go inside this room and then do that, then as you can see, it reveals another room, which I just grab a torch real quick. That's a okay. torch like that and grab the torch, then uh, put it right there. Yeah, we just, we have some loot and uh, 
Yeah, so, like, if there's, like, a burglar or something, they're just gonna, like, come into your house and be like, oh, yeah, a house to rob. Let's just go in and take all the stuff. We'll just throw stuff on. Dang it, there's nothing in here. Then they just walk out without even noticing that, like, all your loot is in here. So, it's a, it's a pretty good defense. Or, not, not defense, but... It's a pretty good thing to have. And uh, again, the making is actually extremely simple, so I'm just going to show it off right now. Uh, so all you really have to do is make two holes that are separated by like this little elbow thing, and then like uh, so that you can walk straight or you can turn. And then all you want to do is uh, put a wall right there, actually, and then put a door so that the hinges are facing towards. Uh, there and then if you close it or if you open it rather actually closing it or opening it depending where you are uh, Then if you open it, there's there's not a trace, but if you if you close it from the inside then boom You're, you're done it's Pretty good. So yeah, that's how you make that one. So why? Uh, yeah, I just Let's go on to the next one. This is the fifth one Alrighty guys, this is the fifth and final one. And if you guys have seen my video on how to make a uh, really simple redstone elevator, it's just like slime blocks, like it barely even requires anything, then you guys should go check that out. I'll leave it uh, in, it'll be on the screen somewhere. I can, I can tell you that. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's just, uh, open or let's just let's just do this so most of the time on the elevator you just be like oh i'm gonna go up to my stop and then you'd press the button and then you'd start going up like normally but what people don't realize is that if you don't like put any like redstone at the bottom like making a door or something then you could literally just have this go up and then there's just like this little compartment at the bottom you could jump it in jump into the water go in and then you got a secret room with tons of bats like what more R really what more <laughs> so yeah guys uh i guess that's kind of here let me check for time oh all right, we still got a good amount of time. All right, so, uh, all right, so I am actually going to show off how you guys can build every single one of these simply. Besides the one, the, besides this one and uh, the second one, because I have already like kind of showed those off in the video. So, uh, I will start out with the first one and uh, yeah, breakfast. Okay, guys, so this is uh, what the room looks like de red stonatized, and that's a word. But uh, anyway, so what you're actually going to need for this is one redstone torch, uh, a stack of redstone dust. You don't actually need an entire stack, that's just like I don't know how much redstone you need exactly. One piston, one comparator, and uh, a, a building block of your choice. So, uh, oh yeah, and, uh, if you want to, like, do the plants and stuff, I think that, uh, the spruce leaves look the best. You just gotta, you need, and you need cauldron and spruce leaves. Oh yeah, then, man, I do not go prepared. Uh, you also need a water bucket, which I completely forgot. Uh, so, let's go. So, uh, first what we want to do is we want to place, that's not where that goes, uh, we want to place a cauldron down right there, put two leaves down like that. So then we want to go onto the other side and then find where your plant is, the plant that you want to uh, redstone-itize um, so that when you water it, but, like it can actually be any plant you want. There's no like preparing or extra stuff. Uh, and yeah, so then what we want to do is we want to put a comparator facing outward. Make sure that it's on, uh, one, make sure that you have the plant, then one block in between them. Otherwise, it'll be extremely noticeable and they'll know that you have a secret entrance. So then we can put a piece of redstone dust there. Then we just want to run redstone all along the lines here. Sorry for the clicking, guys. My mouse is really loud. 
Uh, but then, then let me move this actually. Uh, then we have where we want to put the piston down. So we want to put the piston uh, over here so that it is flush with the wall behind the throne. Then we want to uh, take a block that will blend in with the throne and put it right on top of the piston. After we do that, uh, let's just actually break some of these redstone dust pieces. Then we can take uh, the building block of our choice. I'm like really unorganized. We can take the building block of our choice, put it so that the redstone will run into that building block. Then put a redstone torch on the other side of the building block so that when this redstone is activated, this redstone torch will turn off. After you do that, then you can take uh, a, actually you just wanna build like a little staircase here uh, like that, it's that simple. Then you just wanna take a redstone line and run it into the back of this piston. And then essentially you guys are actually done. You could also do one uh, called dehydrating the plants, which is a little bit more violent. No, uh, basically what you would do is you would just fill every single plant with water. Then you would take a bucket of water and take it out or take the, take the water out. And then to do that, you would just break this and have one redstone line but i'm not gonna kill plants today I, i'm i'm not a heartless creature am i a heartless creature i don't think i am but uh let's see so then we can just uh th so as you can see the throne closes up then if we go over to this designated plant we just put it down okay uh what uh, Yeah, you're also gonna need a repeater. You know, I am... I am an extremely stupid person when it comes to preparing for stuff. So, then... Okay, so, the throne is closed. Then when you take the water bucket, put it in, and then it opens up. Perfect. We're good. Now... Let's move on to the next one, which these two are actually extremely simple. So let's just move on. Or th these two are actually extremely similar is what I meant to say. So let's just move on to the next one, which is over there in the museum. All right, guys. So here we go. Uh, we now have the museum de-redstonatized and uh, yeah, let's just take a look at the stuff behind So as you can see the sponge is retracted right now uh, And I forgot to say that you will need a piston so let me just break that So first what we want to start out with is that we actually do want to put, want to put a piston right here So that it is one block out from this wall so that it is not flush with the wall It's one block outward then we want to place whatever block we use. My sponge is gone. <laughs> okay, let me grab my sponge. Okay, good. Sponge. Yeah, okay, good. So now we have our sponge and our piston in place. So then you are going to want to put uh, blocks in a formation like this. We want to have the first layer uh, two by four going straight out of the wall and make sure that it is aligned with your armor of Oglar Porksworth. You want to make sure of that. Then we want to make a line that... Okay, just, just make a line that goes around this wall, stretches around, and then you just want to make a little staircase that goes up to this piston. So, after we have done that, we want to put a repeater right here. And then this is the part where it gets a bit custom. So if you guys take a look, then we I will send a redstone signal like this. It's like, that's like eight, I think. Uh, so as you can see, the comparator only outputs one redstone signal. Then if we twist the, uh, the uh, item frame one more time, it outputs two. As you can see here, two outputs. So it goes all the way up to eight, and this is where you want to customize how many ticks you want. So, so where do you want this thing to be facing? For for an example, I will make it so that mine is facing uh, that uh, that direction. So as you can see, that means that it goes all the way up to here. 
all the way up to this point. So then I want to put a repeater right there. And then I want to put a uh, block. I forgot that we need a block for this. I'm going to put a block right there. And then take a redstone torch. Put it right there so that it is now unpowered. Then we take a redstone signal output from that redstone torch. And run it all the way up to this piston so now as you can see it is unpowered but if we twist this any other way like say uh this direction actually it, it will actually so it's not fully customizable uh anything after this point will still work but for example if we're just at one tick it will not work and it will just close up so you just turn the item frame to about there and then as you can see it opens up so that's about it all right, let's get on to the final one, which actually, not really the final one, because, like, I, I can't really actually show this one to you guys, because, like, I did a whole video about it, but uh, the final one is uh, this thing right here, which I actually sent up into space, which, I'm an idiot, but uh, you guys can see this on the end screen which is actually about to happen now because i am going to outro the video so guys if you did enjoy this video please do consider leaving a like comment and subscribing uh to my channel because it helps out a ton and uh if we got if we could hit 70 subscribers guys that would be great we're on 62 right now i definitely think that we can do it uh so yeah i really hope for that like i'm a small youtuber can't really do anything about that like an extremely small youtuber so if we could just hit 70 subscribers sometime soon guys that would that would just make me so happy i do apologize for the lack of uploads uh last week i actually didn't upload anything last week so i do really apologize for that uh, but guys, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, it, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe, as I just said. And again, if you want to see how you can make this elevator, then it will be showing up uh, about now. And uh, guys, uh, that is about it for this video. I do hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.